Sachs campus is arguably one of the most beautiful settings, uh, both to go to school and to play rugby. We've got uh, magnificent fields, a uh, wonderful grandstand where the entire school can be seated on match day. We've got a first class gym facility, uh, which is largely used by the rugby players, but not exclusively. Uh, the conditioning programs in the pre-season are all undertaken in that gym facility. We turned 200 in 2029, in nine years' time. And uh, with that comes a, a rich history and heritage. We've got 29 Springboks, some of the more well-known recent guys like Percy Montgomery and Kyle Brown. South Africa, Cup winners Dubai Sevens 2014. I went to, to boarding school at Sachs, went through Michaelis for two years and Rosedale for three years. And like I said, it was the best decision that could have, you know, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. From Namibia, from Office Bay, a little town there, I managed to get a bursary. And uh, yeah, that's where my, my whole career started, at um, the Villiers House uh, from nine years old. I could run fast and that was the start of my Sachs career. Now keeping it moving, Smith to Chait. We've had a lot of guys coming through the system in the last decade who are now really doing nicely on the stage beyond school. Jordan Chait at the Sharks. Lucky Glepu as well, who is our 2017 captain and scrum off, and also Craven, we captain. He's uh, in the Sharks uh, Super Rugby squad and actually playing for Sharks under 21 at the moment. Chris Smith, who's uh, involved with the Bulls at Super Rugby level. Meter line. Now Chris Smith. That is a great line, over goes the fly-off. I was in Rosedale, the senior hostel there at Sachs. Um, we had a great, great group of guys there. Um, really loved my time there, really bonded with, the, you know, with my fellow schoolmates. Got spotted by the Bulls, came over here, and yeah, it's been a, it's been a great environment being cultivated here by, by Jake and, and his coaching staff, and, and really loving each other at the Blue Bulls. I was at the boarding school, which helped a lot. I was out on the field, basically every day when we didn't have practice, uh, trying to perfect my craft. Sax rugby is awesome, uh, right from the coaches down to the players. I really enjoyed my time here. It was memories that I'll, I'll hold with me until I, until I get old one day. Um, and yeah, just being, being a part of a traditional all-boys sporting school um, was amazing. I was fourth generation at Sax. My dad, my grandpa, my great-grandpa were all here. So yeah, all rugby players as well. So it was awesome to kind of follow in their footsteps. Good defense from Wood. Jordan Chait, is he over? Yes, he is. Sachs I've got so many amazing memories from my time here at, at Sachs um, and the fixtures we played. Uh, one that sits, sits uh, right in the memory bank is our 14-7 win against Bishops when we beat them for the second time in, in my 2015 year. From where I came from, there was no like gym. There was no proper fields, so when I came here, it was just a, a massive thing to be able to go to gym whenever I want and having a proper field to practice on. Sex ethos is, is a massive part of the school. The guys vibe um, with each other very well, and it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, as soon as you hear, yeah, we all find people and we look after each other. Something I took away from the coaches here at Sex was taking care of the small things, you know, your, your basics, um, respect. It's numbers, yeah, yeah, that's right. and Skewerman, Oliver Skewerman is going to My greatest school memory was Bering Pachem in my matric year. He had sex, it was just a special week. I mean, we always believed that we could beat um, one of the big schools because um, we've beaten them in a 14, we've beaten them in a 16 as well. So the belief was there always and push Nick came with the plan and how to beat them and, and yeah, we just did the job. Percy, Montgomery and Carl Brown are two unbelievable rugby players and uh, two, two players that I looked up to back in the day. As well as Chris Smith, when I arrived at Sachs, he was in, in matric. Smelling blood, Chris Smith, Chris Smith was all happening out there. To see how many uh, unbelievable rugby players have gone through the school and gone on to achieve great things. Montgomery with the kick. Sliced off the side of his boot. Come and come, come. Montgomery starts. Percy Montgomery has got the bounce and he's got the try as well. Terrific roar from the crowd for South Africa.
It's a great opportunity. Cole Brown is on. Sacks are still alive. Ethan Berger. Berger. Wonderful from Ethan Berger in his final game. The character is such a major part of what we do at Sacks and what we try and instill in the boys. Sacks rugby is my life. Uh, probably the camaraderie. In my matric we had an incredible environment, an incredible culture um, under Mr. Wepner and, and Mr. Mara. The, the idea is that you uh, you embody a lot of what the culture of the school has given you, of your parents, of your family and your community has given you. And I think that and hopefully a lot of the guys that have done, you know, things significantly in their field, that they can walk, or walk away and be in good ambassadors for the school. I think discipline for me was a, a huge factor that, uh, that, that goes a long way on and off the field. SACS is a high achieving school and a high achieving institution um, that doesn't boast too much about it. You know, they, it's a school that quietly gets on with its business and, and produces some phenomenal people, um, or at least helps mould phenomenal people and find, help them find their direction. Uh, I think that was a lot of the focus when I was here was achievement through happiness or while being happy. And that's why I would be a proud sax old boy and you know, hopefully one day a proud sax parent too. A little chip will gather. He does brilliantly. Off he goes himself. Man outside of this could be the clincher. Cowboy under the sticks. That wins it for sure.